saw with the rip fence to cut this out of this billet. I've preset the fence at 5 eighths of an inch. Center the blank underneath the drill. Drill in a couple of times just to check to make sure you're in the snap in there. Doesn't hurt to have plenty of glue inside there. Now that the blank is roughed down, it's time to make finishing cuts. Blank. Make sure you move the sandpaper back and forth across the surface. Apply a steady pressure. Back and forth motion will help to produce a nice, even, glossy finish. Reposition the tube if the parts don't seem to be going together correctly. Notice the grain match in our now completed pen. This basic slimline pen that we've shown you how to make is actually the most popular pen kit and the most common. What we're going to do here is show you some variations of pen designs that can be made using this the slimline pen part. Okay, here we're going to show you how to glue the brass tubes and the pen blanks for the variation on the slimline pen. Line the grain match up. The diameter at the center really isn't critical, but it is important to have the diameter meet the bushing on each end of the pen. And creating two black detail lines. And then taking a wire burner and creating two black detail lines. Now we're going to do a little bit more detail work on this pen and add some finger grip grooves. Here you can see the pen a little closer with the finish applied. Then we'll assemble the two halves of the pen and there we have our completed pen. We'll hit it with a couple three shots of accelerator. Now that we have the antler secured in position on the brass tube, we're ready to start to turn it down to the same diameter that we have our barrels. We'll take a minute at this point and add a little bit of detail to the pen. Then after looking at each of these, it looks like the soft pearl finish is going to look best with the antler, so that's the one we'll use. Let's take a moment or two and take it in each individual tool. Now, first we're going to start with the shallow gouge. This gets its name from a nice shallow flute that you have here. Now, let's take a look at what we call a deep fluted gouge. This gets its name from a very deep flute that you have here. Just an ordinary skew, okay? But we've done what they've done here is we've rounded the edge here, or we've rolled it, what we call roll it here and here, and this makes it very nice for sliding across the tool rest as we're cutting. Now let's take a look at some of the adhesives that we can use. And this one here is epoxy. You'll notice that there are two bottles. There's an A here works best. This is CA glue, uh, super glue, or cyanacrylate adhesive. The final one here is polyurethane glue. We usually store it with a bottle upside down because it's fairly thick and that way we can get the glue out quickly. 